welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to discuss about a very crucial topic in basic biomechanics which many of you were eagerly waiting for that is the concept of anatomical pulleys before understanding in depth into the anatomical pulleys i want you to imagine a scenario if you are from a rural area or a semi rural area just think that you had a weekend or you have a weekend and you are there to help your mother in kitchen. Unfortunately, the pulley in your well got damaged and you are left with no choice, but you have to get uh, some 10 or 20 buckets of water for your mother. How difficult will that task be? Or is the task be more easy than doing without the pulley? Just think on to that. Let us come back that to after the intro. In that scenario and as well as if you are from an urban area you would have gone to some industrial areas where uh, some construction is taking place or some flyover is being constructed in your town you would have seen large machines and uh, large devices utilized to move things around and uh, at the pinpoint of them at very large cranes you would have seen some police attached so in both this scenario, I just want to ask you, why did we have the pulley or what was the use of pulley? Is it making the task more difficult or is it making the task more easy? I know you have the straight answer for it and that is that it makes the task easy. So pulleys are devices which help in making the task easier or making the task less stressful. So pulleys are devices which are designed or utilized to make task easier and less stressful. So if you can define, you can define a pulley as a mechanical device. It's a very simple mechanical device. It's not that complicated one. It's a very simple or a simple mechanical device with a wheel, right? It has just a wheel revolving around an axle or an axis. So a pulley is a single or a simple mechanical device with a wheel rotating around a fixed axis that is known as the pulleys now what are anatomical pulleys we are not going to discuss about physics or mechanics but let us focus on to biomechanics what are anatomical pulleys so at, uh, for example now a muscle is uh, passing over like this for example this is your supraspinatus or deltoid muscle and uh, there are some areas or there are some bony prominences in the body there are some bones or bony prominence in the body which deflect the muscle that is attaching to that bone for example in this scenario you know that here we have our glenoid fossa and we here we have our humeral head and uh, greater and uh, lesser tubercle and the head transverse like this now in this scenario the deltoid has to insert into the deltoid tuberosity how should it pass it should pass like this it should pass away from or it will get deflected by the round contour of a humeral head you can see that at the same time imagine that scenario in which there was no humeral head was relatively straight like this so what would have happened over this scenario you can imagine the same scenario that the deltoid is coming to insert into the deltoid tuberosity you can see that the fibers of the deltoid can insert like this but uh, closely observe both this uh, both this uh, pictures what can you interfere from that in this lion this rounded shape or this bony prominence deflected the muscles line or action of pull to a new one right to a new one but here the line or pull of line of pull of the muscle is not deflected so when a muscle's line of pull or an action line of a muscle is deflected by a bony prominence or a bone then those are known as anatomical pulleys when a muscle 
line of pull is deflected by a ball or bony prominence it forms an anatomical pulley system so anatomical pulley system or anatomical pulley is formed when a muscle's line of pull or action line is being deflected by some bony prominences or bones in human body bony prominence or bones in human body that makes the anatomical pulley now let me ask is this advantages or disadvantages what is the benefit of this deflection of the line of pull now you know the scenario that uh, every muscle uh, or every joint has an axis around which the rotatory movement takes place now look at this one this is the axis of that joint and if you look the momentum of this middle fibers of deltoid you get a value like this whereas at this point being this the axis the momentum is only this much so what happens is that when the line of the pull of muscle is being deflected when the line of pull of the muscle is altered or deflected actually the momentum of the muscle increases now look at here which will be the line of pull of uh, the deltoid muscle the deltoid muscle will have a line of pull like this whereas this one has nearly a vertical line of pull now when the line of pull get reflected like this actually the momentum of the muscle increases the momentum of the muscle increases now tell me what happens if the momentum of a muscle increases without increasing the force generation you know that torque is equal to force into momentum what happens is that the efficiency or the torque of the muscle increases or the muscle can perform more better without producing greater amount of energy without expending later amount of energy the muscle can perform better work or at same amount of force for example here there is a 5 newton force and the momentum is 1 yeah? and second scenario it is a 5 newton nova force and this scenario the momentum is a 2 you can see that this is 5 newton meter whereas this is 10 see the difference that force was the same value the muscle was working for the same value but when the momentum increased actually the torque generated by the muscle increases so the muscle can produce greater amount of rotatory torque without being producing great amount of force or without expending its fuel or uh, without doing any extra effort so that is the benefit of anatomical pulley so anatomical pulleys are created when a line of pull of a muscle is being deflected by a bone or bony prominence when a bone or a bony prominence deflect a line of pull of a muscle it creates an anatomical pulley right what are the advantages of anatomical pulley in anatomical pulley system the first point the line of pull of the muscle is being deflected the line of the pull of muscle is further away from the joint axis third point it increases the momentum of the muscle it increases the momentum of the muscle fourth point when momentum of a muscle increases the torque generated or the efficiency of the muscle increases so the final point so the muscle can perform greater amount of torque generation without producing or uh, without expending extra energy so that increases the efficiency of muscle so anatomical pulleys are designed in such a way that they increase the efficiency of muscles they increase the efficiency of muscles uh, in performing their daily activities so that is the greatest benefit of anatomical pulley always remember that right now there are a lot of examples of anatomical pulleys in human body for example as i told you there are bony prominences which deflects the action line of muscle one example is your 
greater tubercle greater and lesser tubercle or, or spherical humeral head spherical humeral head the second example can you give me another example the condyles of femur the condyles of femur right the condyles of femur median and lateral condyles of femur then can you give me another example the lateral malleoli of the angle lateral malleoli of the angle these are some examples when bony prominences are acting as the anatomical pulley at the same time there are sesamoid bones acting as the anatomical pulley sesamoid bones additional bone growths which are acting as anatomical pulley for example the largest sesamoid bone is the patella the patella acts like anatomical pulley there are uh, sesamoid bones in the metatarsal head which uh, increases the action line of the muscles there is a pisiform bone which acts to increase the action line of a uh, deflection which helps in deflecting the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle so there are a lot and lot of example but in general there are sesamoid bones behaving as uh, anatomical pulley you can write down the example patella there are uh, bony prominence acting as anatomical pulley you can write the example of greater uh, tubercular or the spherical humeral head the condyles of femur and lateral malleoli of the ankle clear right now we need to focus our discussion on two important thing that is one the adult um, humeral head acting as an anatomical pulley which i have already shown you or in the second scenario you can write down patella acting as an anatomical pulley if this is asked for a short note question you have to write either one of this example you have to define all those things that we have uh, we have discussed so far and at the same time you have to write down one single one among this one what is that you have to write down one single uh, what you call example from this one I would suggest you go for the patella acting as an anatomical pulley. Let us see that scenario in which the patella acts as an anatomical pulley. You know where is the location of patella? It is a in the knee joint, and here we have the, uh, for example, here we have the humeral head, right? The humeral head. Then we have the tibia, and then here you have the patella over here now and imagine a situation in which patella is not there the quadriceps muscle lies almost flat and it gets inserted into the tibial tuberosity yes it gets inserted like this now the scenario second one is that we have the patella we have the patella same bone no need to think about the bony prominence etc but we have here our important structure known as the patella now look at this one the quadriceps muscle is deflected by the patella and it has to pass over it and it gets inserted into the tibial tuberosity now look at both these figures and tell me this if this is the joint axis this is the momentum of this muscle if this is the joint axis this is the momentum of this muscle which is greater this one is greater so how do we how can we define this one so when in knee extension when quadriceps muscle belly is getting inserted on the tibial tuberosity without the help of patella or when patella is absent it is relatively flat and thus the momentum of that muscle is very small for example this be one centimeter or one millimeter okay one centimeter and now in the second scenario when patella which is a sesamoid bone is present between the tibia femoral joint what happens is that it deflects the line of pull of a uh, quadriceps muscle and as a result the quadriceps muscle belly is right uh, away from the joint axis thereby increasing the momentum now when if the scenario is that the quadriceps is producing 10 newton force in both scenario the first scenario is less efficient than the second one because the momentum is twice in case of second one so in this example if uh, quadriceps muscle is producing 10 newton force uh, it can provide greater amount of torque or it is more efficient to perform when the scenario 2 is present that is when patella act in between the muscle sesamoid bone so the patella it in fact increases the efficiency of the quadriceps muscle make it to perform the task easier thereby uh, enabling the muscle to produce energy when it is needed so that uh, energy is, that is the energy is not wasted in muscle so when there is a need for that uh, when there is a strenuous activity the quads can recruit or utilize that energy 
clear so this is the example of anatomical pulleys and if they ask you you have to write a pulley is a mechanical device a single simple mechanical device with a wheel attached to an axle i'll try to add the notes on this in my website you can check on to that www.biomechanicsworld.com and a pulley is designed in such a way that it increases the efficiency of the task or make the task easier in human body there are situations where bony prominences or bonds deflects the line of pull of a muscle when a line of pull of a muscle is deflected by a bony prominences or bond it constitutes the anatomical pulley system when an anatomical pulley system the line of pull of the muscle is deflected the line of pull of the muscle lies away from the joint axis it increases the momentum of the muscle when momentum increases it increases the torque generation or force generated by the muscle or its efficiency the force uh, that is required to produce an action can be minimized because the momentum increases thereby the efficiency of the muscle ultimately increases right there are two scenarios in which uh, sometimes bones can act as anatomical pulleys give the examples of condyles of femur the lateral malleoli etc there can be situation in which sesamoid bones can behave as anatomical pulley give the example of patella now patella as an anatomical pulley you are heading write down the scenario when patella is present it increases the momentum increases the efficiency therefore torque generation or an efficiency of the muscle is more right and if you are very comfortable with the example of a deltoid, write down to that also. Whichever is comfortable. If they ask this for a 10 mask question, write both the examples with a well clean diagram. Here, the diagram is important. If you just go on and blah blah blah, then you won't get the marks. Okay, because you need to show this one with the diagrams. Okay, that will fit you more amount of mark. And pulley systems can be of different type, like a simple pulley system, a combined pulley system, fixed pulley system, etc which I don't think that uh, is needed in biomechanical point of view but of course in excess therapy you might need it. we'll discover that later so with this I wind up this video and if you enjoy this video don't forget to click the like button and kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget sharing this with uh, your friends